What's up guys? Mr. Dude Puppet here. We're gonna be doing another unboxing video. It's not gonna be a loot box this time, or a loot crate this time. We do have a bunch of those. We're gonna get around to them eventually. This one's gonna be a little bit more fun though. It's gonna be one of them eaten from around the world. Now I was contacted by Universal Yums and they asked, hey Adam, wanna have some uh, food from around the world? I'm like, hell yeah, I love eating food. So they sent me a box. So we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. So this time around, I guess it is uh, food from Taiwan. Um, huh. we got what's inside my Taiwan box. So, wrapping paper. So, first off, we have Coloco Basil Pea Crackers, which I'm assuming is this. Now, I've kept this in my fridge a couple days, so a lot of this product's going to be pretty damn cold. We're going to open this bag. Smell like peas. Definitely smell like peas and basil. Holy shit. Very basil-y. It's like very, 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 very basil-y. All right. Those were the... Pea crackers. So we got some taro mochi cakes. Mochi's pretty good. Um, spongy, clear. Interesting. I'm actually kind of glad I put these in the fridge because it probably would have tasted horrible at room temperature. It's all right. It's hard to chew. All right. Next up, we have uh, green tea choco rolls. I'm gonna admit, I already had one of these. Pretty damn good, but we're gonna try to eat the other one. Try being the optimal word here. Ugh. So basically, there's a green tea, chocolate rolls. Very nice, very smooth. Love me some green tea. So it's like chocolate on the outside, like regular chocolate. And on the inside, if it focuses, focus, focus, not me, there we go. It's like green tea infused chocolate on the inside. It's pretty cool. I my red bean jelly. You know, I don't actually see that in here. Um, wait. Found it. Are you kidding me? I gotta open. I gotta open this and eat it. Was that sanitary? God, I don't know. I might throw up. I didn't know there was like perishable shit in here. Unless I was not supposed to put this in the fridge. In which case, shit. Um, how do I open this? It's gonna be a trick to it. Hmm. 
I guess if I just do that, that's fine too. Man, I like red bean buns, but Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Got it. That looks fucking very unappetizing. It's like a solidified It's not horrible, but I would not eat this without actual bread. Well, without it being a side of bread. You feel me? I think you feel me. Picking up what I'm putting down. Cool. So. Next up, we have some CC soft pudding candy. Basically, it's just oh, God, old pudding treats, old treats of pudding. Let's see if we get this. Can't get this open. Solidified. Good old solidified food. It's like a jelly. Very hard to chew. Not that good. Not gonna lie. Not that good. Pudding, that's why. I'm not too too big of a fan of uh, pudding like that. So we have Prince Kimchi noodles. So these are pre cooked noodles, I guess. Snack form that are meant to be eaten right from the bag. I'm gonna end up ripping this fucking bag open. These bastards are gonna go everywhere. So this is like, this is almost like an instant ramen. That's pretty neat. Huh. Even looks like ramen inside. Down we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. So the inventor of ramen noodles was born in Taiwan. I did not know that. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Ah, chili. That's why. Not bad, I might actually have another one of those later. Hmm. Now, the thing I've been looking forward to, the uh, the seaweed Lay's chips. It's gonna be very interesting. 
Very, very interesting. Let's do this carefully. With finesse. I like the box, too. It's pretty cool. Please. Oh, I'm glad. But it's mostly just fucking crushed chips. like almost like a refreshing taste to it it's very nice it was very refreshing um, um what's next why the brown sugar milk candy so this I like the packaging there's a little cow on the front a little, little milk container that's neat it's gonna be like milk milk candy sugar oh I'm very chewy holy shit That's not bad. Hmm. It's way too damn chewy though. Next up, we have some CC yogurt candy. Hmm. There's some Taiwan trivia in here too. Taiwan is a part of China? True or false? There. Cheat sheet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there is. Interesting. All right. In Taiwan, blank play the same music as ice cream trucks do in the U.S. while driving down the street. Fire trucks, hearses, garbage trucks, or limousines. Honestly, if a hearse drove down the street with the ice cream truck theme, that'd be pretty damn funny. Oh my god. The answer would surprise you. Alright. I'll save the last two. Well, well, I'm not, you know, dying. This is a hard candy. I think it's a hard candy. Uh, probiotic yogurt drink. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a tau um, like a tart on it. Hmm. I think I just had the right thing. Yep. Definitely that. Mmm. Completely mixed something. Mixed something. The Taiwanese really like their chewy candy. Holy shit. <coughs> oh. <coughs> the yogurt candy has a kick to it. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, did that, did that, did that. Did that. Did that. Hmm. 
So this is some um, high chew. Hmm. One of them. You've likely never tried yellow watermelon, milky pineapples, or fragrant fragrant flora flavor of lychee. Oh, it's about to change. Let's see. Let us see, boys. If I can open this stupid box. Or box. This little thing. All right. So we got a little... It's almost like a little gummy. Wow. That does have a really deep floral flavor. Holy shit. You ever smell like a, a flower? This tastes like how a flower smells. This is weird. But it's like sweeter. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. Very weird. Very, very weird. Oh boy. We have our strawberry Cheetos. If I can open the damn thing. Come on. Uh -huh. Seriously, these, these literally are strawberry Cheetos. They're not... Cheetos, but they look like strawberry Cheetos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. Hi, Cheetos, very good. Mm. This really tastes good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, while I'm doing this, I'm looking at places to stay for Amsterdam, because I think this video is going to go out while I'm um, I'm away in Germany at Gamescom, so I'll probably do this like as I leave type of thing, but um, yeah, it's going to be me, Linus, and Vincent, so if you want to meet up with us and you live around the area, just leave a comment on the video, I'll probably be announcing it at a later point in time anyway, but... There you go. Hot damn. We bring the video thing back up so I know what I'm looking at. All right. So, Kwai, Kwai, Kwai strawberry milk snacks. You ever have kicks as a kid? But like the berry kicks? This tastes like the berry kicks. This is weird. This is weird and I really like it. I need to stop eating this. Terrible for me. Well, it's not horrible actually. It's only 150 cows. Okay, cows? Actually. Oh, yeah. It's only 150 calories. That's not horrible. 150 calories. Well, technically, it's 300 for this whole bag. And this bag is actually pretty full. It's not like with the American shit. It was like, here, have a half full bag. Have a bag of air. Get some chips. All right, next up is the Oshi Chocolate Corn Roll. 
This is corn. This tastes like, um, does not have the aftertaste of, but this tastes like a, a Girl Scout Caramel Delight. Look at the coconut and everything. It was really good. Not bad at all. Hmm. Of course, last but not least. The melon milk candy. Oh, melon. So, I'm gonna rip this open. Get my melon candy out. Toss the wrapper down the hatch. This is ridiculously chewy. So we're gonna be doing the last three, uh, two bits of trivia. However, you're calling it a day. So. The newly elected president of Taiwan is a former sumo wrestler, an unmarried cat lady, a 30-year-old entrepreneur, or an immigrant from the U.S. Huh. <laughs> oh, that doesn't surprise me. That's pretty funny. And which of the following is free everywhere in Taiwan? Parking, water, Wi-Fi, or bus transportation? I'm honestly not shocked by this, to be perfectly honest. That's actually really cool. Hmm. Alright, and apparently August is Ghost Month. Interesting. So, um, the people of Taiwan believe that during ghost month the gates of hell open and allow ghosts and spirits back into the living world um month is commemorated by a large feast prepared specifically for the ghosts and if you go to taiwan this month these are some things you should probably avoid doing wearing the color red getting married singing or whistling so if you're whistling in your car to some backstreet boys i wouldn't recommend doing that driving down the state driving down the road oh my god Swimming. Don't swim. Get a drum. Don't use the word ghost. It's offensive to the ghosts. Clue to next month's box. Ja. They will tell you. They will yell and the athletes will go. They'll fight and they'll race. I'll put on quite a show. Us will be watching and reaching for yums because when you snack like a local it's always more fun um dutch dutch we're going on the netherlands boys onward to the netherlands i'll see you guys in boop bye guys <laughs>